Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. It's me, Monica. I know I may sound a little different, but um, I have lost my voice. So it's been one massive thing after another. <laughs> so I'm going to share with you a few of my favorites and then just kind of give you an update on what's been going on. So if you're curious, I hope you stay tuned. Feel really terrible because my last video was before Easter and I kept thinking I've got to do a video but I've been like sick and um, as you can tell my voice is gone it's it's actually this is the best it's been in a couple of days and it's just I don't know I have a head cold I've strained my voice teaching, talking, you know, too much in class, etc. So I'm kind of suffering with my voice. It may go in and out, or <clears throat> hopefully maybe after I've talked for this whole video, it might be a little smoother. Anyways, um, what's been happening since, gosh, my last video was right before Easter. It A lot's been happening, actually, and um, a lot of it has to do with my mom, who's not doing well. So she, Jay and I picked her up for Easter and I have a video of her in the car. I'm not going to play it here because she was taught, it's a real long video when she was just talking about what Easter was like when we were in Germany, when we lived there. And so it's a really awesome video, but it's probably something more that just family would enjoy. But anyways, we, we brought it to my sister's and you know, a bunch of the family was there, not everybody. And I'll superimpose a couple of photos in here. But my mom hasn't been feeling really well, and she, a lot of this started when my dad died. She stopped eating healthy because she didn't have to cook for my dad anymore, and, you know, one thing led to another, and then my brother died a year later, and I think in the last two years for her to have just had so many traumatic events really affected her health. She started to not be able to eat a whole lot. And we thought, well, you know, she's lost a lot of weight. Um, we didn't know. But this last couple of weeks, she's had no energy. She's been cold all the time. She's very anemic. So we brought her to the doctor. Um, she had CAT scan. I took her to CAT scan. My sister brought her to the doctor. So my sister and I and Jay have been really running down there, checking on her, bringing her food. So I've been so busy with mom stuff and work stuff. And then also being sick myself that I just, I didn't have anything much to talk about on a video. And, and that's pretty sad because I really wanted to get back into a consistent pattern of shooting videos. So I kept saying, oh, what am I going to do? So I'm going to talk about a little bit of my favorites, but give you that update about my mom. Because I may not be as consistent as we're going through some, some issues because my mom lives independently. When my dad was sick, my mom was there to help, you know, take care of him and do things with him. And my sister and I would fill in and go down there and do as much as we could, but there was always someone there. Now with my mom, there's no one there. So it, it's much more time consuming. And, I, and I'm so thankful that I live close enough that I can do that, you know. I'm so thankful that I, I can spend that time with her and help her. But it is time consuming and so therefore it impacts my work a little bit and it, it certainly impacts my YouTube videos. But I'm hoping that she pulls um, through, meaning that her, you know, she's on iron pills, we're bringing her to a GI doctor on Tuesday. So I'm hoping that everything gets ironed out, ironed out and she starts to rebound, you know, starts to find her spunk, her mojo, and, and all of that, because she really hasn't been herself in a while, and that weighs heavily on us all. So I thought I'd share that as, you know, so that you guys know, because I know some of you have reached out to me directly asking what's going on, and it's mainly family issues. And then my ear, my recovery on my ear was a little bit more difficult, my throat uh, for right after my surgery. I couldn't swallow. I couldn't talk. Of course, that went away. And now I'm having a throat issue, but that's for a completely different thing. But I had my stitches out. I think I talked about that in my last video, and that was kind of like really freaked me out. 
and I'm on three weeks of light duty, which I, I told Jay included no dishes, no cooking, no laundry. <laughs> Gee, that was hysterical. In reality, it's just I'm not supposed to lift. I'm just supposed to take it easy. So uh, my ear is doing good. I'm still, I had my plastic surgeon consult for my Mohs surgery, and I'm hoping that the beginning Monday or Tuesday, we get that scheduled. I don't know when it's going to be. I don't know if I'm looking at a month out, two months out, three months out. I don't know. But so that's in the works. Um, but with my mom and everything that's happened with her, it makes me appreciate my health all the more. And a friend of mine is going through some real joint issues and all that. And I'm like going, oh my gosh, you know, all the tests I've had. Yes, I'm overweight, but everything has come back really good on myself except for, of course, my nose and my ear and all that. But I think a lot of it has to do with some of the things that I've been doing. So we just ordered another bag of this. I mentioned this in my favorites all, a lot. And we have, we've been doing this consistently since 2016. I think it's made a huge difference on us. And like anything, you have to be super consistent. You can't just take it one day and then take it the next week. This is a daily thing. I take it in the morning and I take it at night. So you have to get into that pattern of consistency. Now they've come out with a bunch of different flavors on this. I haven't tried any of them. This particular package was bought 12-26-2021. We date the packages. So we know how long it's going to last us and we're getting ready to place or maybe he's already placed another order of this. But I wouldn't be without my collagen. So repeatedly, that has been a consistent favorite of mine. The other thing that's a favorite, and I just pre-ordered this, this is the apple cider vinegar. And these are, I mean, the, these are gummies. These are really good for my gut health. I think it, 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 I can't say it's made me lose weight. I think some people said it helps them with their diet. And, but for me, I think it's helped with my gut, my gut, you know, the health of my gut. I feel fuller. I like it a lot. And I've been using it consistently as well. I think it was Sheila. I can't remember when Sheila first mentioned this. Sheila, um, I think, gosh, it might have been a year ago now. But I just ordered four more bottles of it. So this to me, and I get it on Amazon, this to me makes me feel full. Jay loves it. We both feel full. We both have a lot of energy. We both believe our gut health benefits from this. So I've been on a, a sunblock quest and the sunblock quest is because uh, there was a study that, and here I'm going to mention Sheila again, she had brought it to my attention. Um, there was a study on an ingredient in sunblocks tying in potentially, potentially, I'm not, I'm not a scientist, I'm not anything, just as potentially. Anyways, the study concerned me enough that I'm on a quest to try to get sunblock without titanium dioxide. I don't know if I'm saying that right. So Sheila did a bunch of investigation and we found super goop. Let me show you. Super goop, unseen sunscreen. And this is a 40 SPF. It comes on clear. It's almost like, and both Marlene... Both Marlene and Sheila had said that it was almost like a primer. Now, my skin is very different than their skin. My skin is super dry. I put this on after I do my skincare in the morning, and I've been putting this on, and it is very much like a primer. It kind of smooths out. It's, it's clear. You don't see it. You can put a quarter size thing on your hand, and you can put it on, and then you just, you just let it dry. And then once it's dried, I think I wait about maybe 15 or 20 minutes. And once it's dried, then I go in and I take a little bit of my primer, put a little bit of my putty primer on my nose, and then I do my makeup. And then during the day, during the course of the day, I have not yet reapplied this on top of my makeup. I still have some other sunblocks that I use that I can powder on or put on. I'm just not happy with the full ingredient deck on it. I think I think the more you read about that titanium dioxide, that one ingredient that most of your sunblocks have, and that there is starting to be a correlation between 
hair thinning in men and women that have high levels of that in their bloodstream. And it's, it is a hugely popular ingredient in sunblock. So I'm saying that not to, to have you all go crazy and say, oh no, I can't use sunblock. No, you have to use sunblock. But I am just on a quest to try to find a sunblock that doesn't contain that so that I, I feel that, because my hair is thinning, right? And I use a lot of sunblock. So maybe, maybe I'm jumping the gun too soon. I don't know, but I'm going to play around with it and I'm going to keep looking for more sunblocks that don't have it. So right now the Super Goop, the Unseen is perfect. It works really well with my skin. I love it. The other thing, and I have eyes, right? My, my eyes. So I've been on the Ristasis. This is a, it is a prescription. It is quite pricey. And I can't find it in Reliable RX, or it, it seems to be the only thing that is helping my eye. My eye has been so good since I've been using this. But again, like everything else, this is super consistent. I use a drop every morning. I use a drop every night consistently. And it made a difference, but I didn't really start to notice that difference till I don't know, maybe six weeks in. So this stuff for me, pricey, but it's the only thing that has helped my eyes so far with my dry eye. I really, really love it. So facial patches, because I've been going through so much stress, I don't think my frownies are helping my 11s right now. I wake up, I take my frowny off, my, my 11s seem somewhat smooth, and then I'm up an hour and they're there, these big ruts right there. I don't know whether I need to have some sort of treatment, which Jay freaks out about, but I can see that my 11s, and it's the stress and it's the worry of everything that's going on right now, I think that's really causing it. I've placed another order because this particular one is empty, and I have a few in my other uh, box, but I placed another order. I'm going to keep using it, and I'm just going to hope that my stress level gets contained so that it isn't so through the roof, basically through the roof. Mascara, yeah, I love mascara. A while back, and this is going to be a Sheila video, I think, because I'm mentioning Sheila left and right. But a while back, Sheila had talked about this mascara that she found that did an amazing job on her lashes. And she said it was a kid's mascara. I'm like, all right, yeah, okay. So it's Petite Pretty, and it is a kid's mascara. And um, so I, I bought it. It's a small little tube, and it's kind of gunky right now because I've been using it, right? But it's a small little tube, and what I've been doing is I've been putting my my Essence Lash Princess on, and then this is the topper, and it's really made a difference. I think it's really made a difference. So I think this is pretty cool for a kid's mascara. Why is a kid's mascara better than an adult's mascara? I don't get it. But I'm loving it. I'm using it. Thank you, Sheila. I keep meaning to mention it, and I think I just keep forgetting it. But I do love this. So this is a great mascara. And I think if you, I, it's pricey though, I think. But my lashes love it. <laughs> my lashes love it. So anyways, I can tell my throat is getting really raw right now. Hopefully I'm going to be able to superimpose some of the photos that we've had for our, you know, Easter and all of that. I'm just going to ask you all to keep my mother in your prayers. And I will update as much as I can. I will come back. I have a whole stash of empties I want to do. I also have um, a wig review that I want to do and I have not done anything. I'm like so bad right now. And I just think I'm torn in too many different directions. So hopefully that'll settle down. Hopefully. So thank you so much for watching. And one of my other favorites are always all your comments. I may be very slow in responding right now because of everything, but I read them and I will get to commenting back. I just want you all to know that I appreciate them all. I appreciate all your support. And yeah, and if you haven't already, you know, start taking collagen. And I think that long term, you're going to be better, especially as we age. I mean, I was saying to Babs, um, 
take control of beauty. I was like saying, senior, it seems so weird to say that. I keep forgetting to ask for a senior citizen's discount. I don't feel like a senior, but I am a senior. And, you know, that brings me to my Apple Watch because my Apple Watch is probably my all-time favorite. I've been trying to get back into a routine of exercising, of walking. You can see what I did this morning. It's awfully cold out there. I'm still very, very slow, but, you know, I'm only a few weeks post-surgery. So I'm very, very slow, but I'm hoping I can increase that and go out on a consistent level. But my Apple Watch records my walks, even in general, and it'll analyze my gait, my, my threat of falling, um, how healthy my, my heart is at the time that I'm working out and exercising. There is a ton. You might have to activate some of those health benefits in your Apple Watch if you, haven't, if you have a watch and you haven't done it. There's a ton. <clears throat> There's a ton of, of health benefits that you can read. Granted, like anything else, you could probably go crazy, right? <laughs> it's not to be a doctor analyzing yourself. You don't want to do that. But being aware of your body and being able to compare today to last week to last month, and you can start to see trends, you know, and all that. So to me, probably my all-time favorite, my Apple Watch and the health benefits. So... Yeah, and I, oh, and I also ordered a bunch of glasses off of Amazon, and I also got a new pair of eyeglasses. I got my eyes checked and finally got my new glasses, but I did order a bunch of glasses because I was looking for glasses that would um, function, so they're ugly as all anything, right? I have several in the car, but to function as a way to block the wind when I'm riding my bike. So I looked at safety lenses, and then I decided I was going to order a few off of Amazon, which I did. And I'll let you know how I like them. But I need something that's going to block the wind, because the wind will dry out my red eye. My dry eye? Red eye. <laughs> it'll, it'll dry it out, so that's not really good. So anyways, I'm going to stop gabbing now, because I can feel this. And thank you all so much for your support. I'll see you in my next video. Hopefully, it won't be so long.